Hello, it's Zane with Snowville Shoe Repair. Today we're going to be resoling the Lucchese handmade boot with the French toe. JR sole, brass nails, wood pegs. I'm going to restore some of the color on them. We've already started working on them, so this is a little sneak peek for you. Alright, stay tuned. The customer that sent us this pair of boots was from Texas and he had found us from a previous YouTube video, the Tacovas resoling video. We're going to be putting full sole JR soles and Vibram rubber heel caps. As you can see the old sole was dry and cracking with a less desirable heel job with inferior materials. The finish was dull and faded with a little bit of color loss. We start by removing the heel cap. Then the nails are removed that hold the heel on. Next you pop the heel base off with a pry tool. Sometimes they can be stubborn, but a little elbow grease helps. Now the sole is cut loose. You use a razor knife and you just pull it between the welt and the outsole. Next we have to prep the boot for a new sole by sanding it with 24 grit sandpaper on the welt, in the waist, and around the heel. The 24 grit roughs it up real good to accept the new sole. Then we pick the stitches. This is a really important step if you're going to reuse the old welt. This ensures that the new stitches have room. When reusing the old welt, picking stitches is something we always do. It's very important. It makes the job look so much better. Now we glue the sole and the boot with contact cement and let dry. We get to repair a bunch of beautiful boots. Now we attach the sole to the boot. We center the sole up. And tap it on.
Then we press the soles with a hydraulic press to ensure a good bond. Now we run the boot around a welt press on a Landis 5-in-1. That's the piece of equipment that's being used. Now we're going to use the cutter and trim the excess sole off. The soles get rough trimmed and then trimmed by a machine with a high speed cutter. It's a carbide blade, it's super sharp, it will just cut right through the leather. The soles were dyed black for aesthetics and now they're being stitched on a Landis K sewing machine. Some of these machines we use are 40, 50, 60 years old, and we use them every day. Now we're gonna add some brass tacks to the waist of the sole. There's several different methods of attaching the sole. Some people use tacks, some people use lemon wood pegs. Sometimes we use one or the other or both. In this case we're going to use both. One row of brass tacks and then one row of lemon wood pegs. The heel bases were glued and attached. Now the heel cap is attached. Nails and contact cement are what holds the heel on. The nails are then countersunk down into the washer heel with a punch. The heels are rough cut on the 5-in-1 and brought over to the finisher to be sanded smooth. Here we're sanding the breast of the heel and get over on the rough paper to shape the heel better. Now we get over to the fine paper to really smooth the heel up. Sometimes we block sand the edges to give that super perfect look. The sole and heel edge is then dressed, buffed, and burnished. Now to help with some of the color, we're going to use a Saphir Renovating Cream. This is going to put any color back into the leather. It's like a dye cream. It works really well for 
color loss and filling in any gouges or scrapes or cuts. Then we'll finish them off with a regular cream polish. This particular brand was money's worth in best. I'm going to apply it to the whole boot and then buff it off with a horsehair brush or buffing mitt and that'll bring out the beautiful shine. The boots turned out really beautiful. They cleaned up real well, and with the new soles and heels, they'll last for years to come. If you're interested in work like that, give us a call or messages on Facebook and send them to us. We'd love to fix them. Like I said, these were from Texas, but we fix boots for people all over the country. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned.